Hello everybody, today I'm at the Chicago Auto Show taking a look at this 2024 Kia Telluride SX Prestige X-Pro V6 all-wheel drive. Kind of a mouthful in the name, but absolutely beautiful looking SUV. Um, like I've said in my other Kia videos, I think Kia has been absolutely knocking it out of the park. You can definitely tell when a Kia is coming at you down the road because of the amber DRLs. I love that. I love the use of the LEDs. Starting off up front, we have your full LED headlight group. LED fog lights right down here in the bottom portion of the bumper. Front-facing parking sensors are going to be integrated into the upper and middle portion of the bumper. Love this gloss black grill. This guy also has the 360-degree camera system, so your front-facing camera is right underneath the Kia logo. Very unique exterior color. I love the um, lack of chrome. I cannot stand chrome, so I'm really happy that they went with a monochromatic paint scheme as well as gloss black accents. Right here we have a plastic fender flare that transitions into a rocker panel applique. I love that. It does minimize uh, rock chips and debris. Really nice. Looks like full length running board that does say Telluride on it. Taking a look at the wheel and tire, it looks like we have a Continental, uh, what is this, Traction Plus, and it's a 245-60 R18. Kia is known for having some very unique wheels, and this one looks pretty unique, more kind of off-road-esque kind of wheel. Splash guards are included. Color matched mirror caps with gloss black accents. Mirror mounted camera is going to be right here. Color matched door handles. There is just a little bit of metal looking trim. However, this isn't quite chrome. It's almost kind of like a muted or matte brushed chrome. Gloss black roof rack up top, very long. Really nice body lines on this guy. I love the use of the dark tint glass with the gloss black. It almost makes it look like it's just one solid piece of glass. Coming around to the back, we have the beautiful LED tail lights. You have passenger side exhaust right here. Parking sensors are integrated into the upper portion of the gloss black bumper. Your X-Pro badging is gonna be on the passenger side. Backup camera is gonna be right here. Tell you ride is spelled out. I love this metal Kia logo. Third brake light up top with your rear view camera right here. Coming around to the driver's side, you have your cap, gas cap fill port. Splash guards again are included. Really, really nice looking SUV. Blind spot monitoring is included if I didn't already mention that on the other side. What do you think about this color? Let me know in the comment section below. A little bit more muted compared to the EV9 over there. Very cool vehicle. If you haven't seen my uh, video on it on the channel, go definitely check it out. But uh, I really, really like the Telluride. I think they do an amazing job with the exterior and interior design. Let's go check it out. Feels very spacious in this vehicle. Starting off on the driver's side door, we have all the window controls, your lock and unlock buttons, as well as your mirror controls. Right here, we have your two seat memory, dimmer switch for the instrument cluster, trailer tow mode, hill descent control, open or close the trunk, traction control off button. Heads up display is gonna be included with this guy. Fully digital instrument cluster that seamlessly transitions over into the touchscreen display. Unfortunately, I do not have the key fob, so I can't really go over all the features within the uh, touchscreen display itself. I believe there is a feature that when you turn the turn signal on, you actually have the camera view from the mirror, and it shows you if it is clear or not. Coming back to the steering wheel, we have a really nice leather wrapped steering wheel with very mild bolsters at 10 and 2. On the left side of the steering wheel, we have all of the uh, audio controls mounted on the steering wheel, as well as your favorite button and your call buttons. Over on the right side, we have your cruise control buttons, as well as your gap adjustment and lane keep assist. We also have some buttons for the center LCD instrument cluster as well. Full digital, um, massive horizontal touchscreen display. I really like this kind of brushed wood looking trim throughout. Unfortunately, I don't have the key fob again, so I won't be able to go over uh, certain things. I believe it has uh, CarPlay and Android Auto. Push button starts gonna be right here. 
all of your physical buttons for the radio and media and audio are going to be all right here. Hazard light button is going to be in the middle. Dual zone climate control. Heated steering wheel button. All of your physical buttons for the climate control. This is actually a screen as well, so it'll turn on and show you the temperature and stuff. Heated and ventilated seat buttons on both driver and passenger side. Push on this silver bar, giving us access to a 12 volt outlet, USB, USB type C, and a wireless charging mat down in there. Nice little storage tray right here. Two cup holders, shifter with manual plus minus on the side. Right here we have the different drive mode. Comfort, sport, what is that? Smart, eco, and normal. You just scroll this wheel and select it, they do light up. And then we have your lockable differential button right here. Automatic start stop off, it is on by default. Auto hold, 360 degree camera system, parking sensors off, electronic parking brake button. Pull up on this, giving us access to a storage compartment. This tray is removable, and there is a USB type C down in there. Beautiful, beautiful leather seats in this guy. X Pro is stamped into the seat backs. Glove box is going to be right here. Coming up top to the vanity, it's going to be uh, incandescent lit or LED, I think it's LED lit actually. LED lit vanity. The entire headliner is like a suede. It's also very, very soft, nice to the touch. Driver is going to have the same. Right up top here, you have all of your master controls for the uh, LED dome map lights, as well as the single pane sunroof, and then the, sheet, the screen for the sunroof in the back. Glasses storage, video camera rear view mirror. All those buttons are controlled over on the right side. And then over on this side, you have a three door universal garage remote. So very, very spacious, luxurious interior. I love the accelerator and brake pedal. They're all metal. It's very, very nice. It feels very, very nice to push down. Um, Kia has been killing it lately. Tons and tons of great design features in this vehicle. Everything is laid out perfectly. Let's take a closer look at the back seats and see how much room we have. I have a decent amount of legroom back here. The driver's seat is actually pushed back a little bit farther than it would be uh, as if I was driving. Storage in the form of these kind of elastic leather pouches on both driver and passenger seats. You have little bag hooks right here on both driver and passenger seats. And you also have USB-C outlets in the seat backs themselves, which is pretty cool. Two cup holders right here. Down here, it looks like we have a 12 volt outlet and then 115 volt, uh, 100 watt max power outlet right there these seats do go forward and back so if you need more space you can do that again beautiful beautiful interior i love this two-tone leather nice little sun slash privacy shield and then we also have ventilated and heated captain's chairs premium audio tons of headroom even with this um solid pane of glass up here Rear air conditioning controls are all going to be right here. Oversized LED dome map lights. And then right here we have your air conditioning vents, integrated hanger hook, and grab handle. Getting into the back is real easy. You can go right through the center aisle way. Not a whole bunch of legroom back here as my knees do hit the front seats. But we have two cup holders on each side. USB type C outlet on both sides as well. You push this button, it does push the seat forward on both sides, which means if you don't wanna get in through the front, you can get in and out right here. Your LED dome map light is gonna be right up top, and you also have air conditioning vents and side map lights. I believe these are actually speakers, although you can't really see it because the lighting in here is god awful. Let's take a look at the trunk and see how much cargo space we have. To open the trunk, you're gonna come right underneath the U and tell you ride. There's a little button. Lights are gonna flash, it's gonna beep at you a couple times, and then it's gonna automatically open. Looks like we have some nice in-floor storage. On the passenger side, we have a 115 volt, 100 watt power outlet right here. And then over on the driver's side, we have your 12 volt outlets, and then we have your second row folding seats. So they will fold flat, giving you a load flat floor. Pull on this, 
and then you can push it down. So that way you have tons and tons of cargo space in here. When you're done, you can come up to the passenger side, push the button, and it will beep a couple times and then close for you. Let's take a quick look now at that window sticker. So here's the window sticker for this guy. Again, it's a 2024 Kia Telluride SX Prestige X Pro V6 all wheel drive. Bunch of your equipment is right here. MSRP 55,575. After the freight and handling, it's 56,970. Fuel economy rating is right over here. This vehicle is rated at 18 miles per gallon city, 24 miles per gallon highway for a combined fuel economy rating of 20 miles to the gallon. So there you have it, 2024 Kia Telluride SX Prestige V6 all-wheel drive X-Pro. Um, very, very unique. I love, love, love the design from Kia. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, please consider giving me a like and share. And if you want to keep up to date with more auto show content and future vehicle walkthroughs, be sure to subscribe to the channel and please check out all the affiliate links in the description below. Like always, thanks for watching and have a great day.